too many resources, too little time, a USMLE study schedule specific for you. Check it out. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hassa Sleiman, and last week's video got this comment. So how do I start studying? And lucky for you, I've got exactly what you need. I've got two resources in mind, and I'm gonna show this to you. Number one, and possibly my favorite resource, is the Osmosis Study Schedule. So check this out. This is the Osmosis homepage, and here we go. Go to, so click on the tab on the side, go to Study Schedule. This is by far my favorite resource. I've already set up a study schedule before, so I'm just gonna click on, sounds good. Okay, so here we go. What do you want to study for? We've got step one. Do you know when you'll be taking step one? It doesn't matter what you choose, but I'll go yes. Select a date. I don't really have a date in mind, but let's go, let's go a random date. So let's go June 2021, okay? Next. You have 30 weeks until your exam date. We'll ask about what and how you want to study. Okay, beautiful. Um, using the latest uh, first aid. What do you want to study? Select all. So this is what I highly recommend you. So for instance, in the program that I'm studying at, in first year, we start in blocks. So for instance, we start with the first block of respiratory physiology and cardiovascular physiology, pathology, pharmacology, basically everything to do with the heart and lungs. So you could pick those two, or you could pick everything, and I'm just gonna pick everything. Um, when do you wanna complete everything by, let's just go May, okay? Um, you can pick the days that you want off. I recommend taking the weekend off for two reasons. One, if you're lagging behind, you can catch up on your week's worth of work. And two, sometimes you need a break, you need to go out, you've got birthday parties, whatever it may be. And if you have two days off, then you can make up for time missed during the week, as in if you attended a birthday party or an event during the week, or most more often than not, people tend to schedule things over the weekend. So you can leave that blank and you're not gonna feel guilty about missing a day of study. Now this is my favorite part. This has all the high yield resources that everyone talks about and some of the ones that I've spoken about in my previous video. I'm gonna chuck everything on this schedule and let me show you why I absolutely love this. You just have to click build schedule and you've given it the dates. It's buffering right now and ta-da! So you've got a day tab and a week tab and a month tab. I'm gonna go on month tab. And you can see how beautifully everything is laid out on top. It's got different colors for different systems of the body and it spread everything out beautifully. So you don't have to stress about the speed and it tells you exactly what you need to do. Uh, we can go a week. So this is February 28th to 6th, 2021. And this is what I absolutely love. We're looking at Tuesday and it tells you specific pages. So pages 322 to 324 of the first aid book. It links in all the videos that they want you to watch. It lists boards and beyond videos to watch, the picmonic videos to watch, the sketchy videos to watch, some osmosis flashcards and osmosis questions. It is laid out absolutely beautifully. Everything is collected in one. And what all of you do not realize is that basically it combines all of the same topic in one. Let's go day, day plan. And here's the other thing. This is something that I find super duper satisfying. I can just click tick when it's done and it ticks it off for me. It's such a beautiful feeling. And then if you tick everything, let me show you, ticking everything because this is honestly the most satisfying feeling in the entire world. And <laughs> says a lot about me. Oh, there's Pathoma as well. It literally combines everything of the same topic in one. So yeah, I'm just ticking away. This is such a good feeling. Very good for the soul, very nourishing. You nailed it. And it gives me a cute little quote. So this is my quote of the day. The character that needs a lord to mend it is hardly worth the tinkering. 
I love that. I think that's super cute. And okay, so let's go to month. As you can see, it says, knew you could do it. And it's got that green tick. That means that I've completed the task of today. Another really cool feature is I've clicked on that settings button. So for me personally, I like starting with things that I find quite challenging because it's the start of a study schedule. At the start, personally, I tend to have so much more energy. So I like to start with the hardest things first. So I find neurology and reproductive system quite challenging. So you can literally click on that and push it to the top. We were talking earlier about my school program and first year, we start with cardiovascular and respiratory. So if I was still in first year and we started off like that, I would literally push cardiovascular and respiratory to the top. It tells you that it's allocated 11 days and six days respectively for both the topics. If you want to finish in fewer days or more days, that is possible as well. And it adjusts the calendar automatically. Okay. Then we've got custom resources. So say you world, if you want to add a question bank, you can add a book. I'm going to add a fake book, Hafsa's book, start today. And we say we've got 30 pages in this book and you would like to complete this one. I'm going to say in the span of a month. And let's say we want to add another resource, which is a question bank. So we want to add you world, start today and um, osmosis divides it automatically for you, so you don't need to use any brain power. So let's say we've got 3,200 questions and you wanna finish by the 31st of May. Add resources schedule, save changes, and this is what is absolutely beautiful about it. If you go to the schedule, you've got you will 25 questions a day to complete by the time, and Hafsa's book, you need to complete two pages to finish by the end of the month absolutely beautiful it has calculated it for me okay next we can go days off say you've got a wedding say you've got an event planned and you know you're going to take some time off or sometimes even for instance when i was in surgery placement i was absolutely knackered by the end of the day there was absolutely no chance that i was going to be studying so i added about a month off that's okay you can add months off and finally you can add full-length practice exams whenever you like and it chucks it in for you. Here's another really cool thing about the osmosis schedule. So we're gonna make another schedule, but we're gonna make it for the dedicated period. And by dedicated period, I mean the six weeks before you sit the USMLE exam. Now those six weeks before you sit the USMLE exam is probably the most intense time of your life. And as such, the schedule needs to reflect that. So I'm gonna go once again, Yes, I have a step one date, and let's say I'm taking the step one on the 31st of December, okay? Same as before. But now we've got some things that change. I just wanna take some weekends off. Yes, leave a few days scheduled at the end. How many days you wanna do you wanna leave at the end of the three? Yeah, I think that's cool. And I would prefer to take the practice exams on weekends. I'm gonna go with, no, I haven't started U World yet. Okay, the third of, um, what's today's date? There we go. How many UL questions do you have left to complete? Okay, we'll go with that random. Let's go 3,000. Okay, now during the dedicated period, let's just say I wanna go with the main stuff. So sketchy micro and pathoma. Build schedule. Now we're gonna have a more intense schedule. So let's look at the monthly plan. So monthly plan is quite intense. We've got immunology and microbiology. Look, it's everything just fit into one day. You can you can see over here. Look at the look at the schedule. And if you look at the bottom, it's got 301 one U world questions to complete in the span of a month. But this is your dedicated review. So we're gonna go today and look at that. It tells you how many pages to study, it tells you how many QBank questions you've got, and over here it says dedicated review. But on the bright side, it has calculated everything for you. You can add resources, whatever you need to do. The drawback is that, especially during dedicated review period, you might not wanna go block-wise. You might go like, oh, you know what? I tend to forget the biochemistry pathways a fair bit. 
I want to do one microbiology and one pharmacology sketch per day. This system does not allow you to do that. The algorithm automatically spits out a schedule for you. So I've got schedule number two, and that is the USMLE RX schedule. They have tutorials that go into detail on how to use it. So if you're not fond of the osmosis schedule, you can definitely go through those. Um, it's a four part video, and there is also a video about what you could do if you're running behind. And I've got the link up there somewhere, and I'm gonna have the link in the description below. Okay, so let's go in order. So this study planner is absolutely free. For me personally, I like to mix and match. And by that, I mean, I like to use a little bit of osmosis and a little bit of the USMLE RX schedule because it's got my favorite features of both. On one hand, I do not want to be thinking. I don't want to use that much brain power to think of a schedule and how much I need to complete and which exact pages of the first aid book plus pathoma plus sketchy I need to do. So I leave that with osmosis, but in terms of the daily planner, that is probably the most useful thing that I found over here. Sleep, do not skimp on sleep. Sleep is one of the most important things. It helps your body heal. It helps your brain sink all of that information in. So I'm gonna chuck in seven for sleep. I'm gonna say that I wake up at 6 a.m. So I'm just gonna put wake up here and go to bed 10, 11. I'm just gonna have 10 o'clock. Bedtime. Okay. Next, we've got meals. So I eat five meals a day. It takes about 20 minutes per meal, but I wonder if that includes preparation. So let's say three hours of meals, self-care, I'm assuming that's showering. I will say one hour for two showers in the day, one before going to bed and one early in the morning. And then we've got material review, question bank, going over questions. So at the moment, I am prioritizing finishing UWorld. I have unplanned time, 13 hours. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, say four hours of question banks, uh, four hours going over questions. And that means I have five hours of unplanned time. So of that unplanned time, I will do two hours with mater for material review. And that leaves three hours. We can do two hours of breaks and one hour miscellaneous. And that way I've got my 24 hours planned. Uh, I love having a daily schedule because if you get used to that, if you get used to waking up a certain time, starting studying a certain time, you will get into that habit and your brain will automatically start thinking at those specific times. So I have decided the hours, now I'm gonna chuck it into this daily schedule. So I've got wake up, I'm gonna add pray, um, morning yoga. Ooh, I did not schedule in my exercise. So I'm gonna say another hour and a half for exercise. So that's, I'm gonna put 2.5 for exercise. So that means I am 1.5 hours. Okay, so I'm gonna take an hour off of here and I will take 0.5 from the miscellaneous and I'm back at 24 hours. So wake up, pray, morning yoga, and um, that's six. Um, at seven, I'm gonna say brekkie. So that's one hour of my meal plan done. And then at 8 a.m., I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do question banks. I'm just gonna say QB, going over questions. And I'm just gonna put apple, that's my, um, so I eat five meals a day and I like scheduling like my food breaks as well. So over questions, and then I'm gonna do question bank. I'm gonna do go over questions. So G-O-Q, I'm just gonna go with that and then we've got lunch break. So I've got one more hour of meal plan to go. Um, let's see, so I've done two hours of question bank, two hours of going over questions. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing, Q bank. And at three, I'm gonna have my other snack while I'm doing questions, material review dinner, and then I can do my exercise for an hour and a half. 
And I have 30 minutes of miscellaneous and I've got one more hour to go of self-care. So shower and I've got my 30 minutes of exercise plus miscellaneous, I guess. So there we go. So this is the most important thing, in my opinion, the daily plan. And then the second most important thing is your subject list. So in your subject list, basically the number of pages allocated per subject shows you the importance of the subject. Now, say if I am struggling with molecular biochemistry, I could change that to careful review or intensive review, and that automatically adjusts the predicted time or the number of hours that I will take per subject. But as I said to you before, what I find valuable personally is following the osmosis calendar because it tells you exactly what to study from everything bunched up together. So the exact Pathoma video and pages, the exact Sketchy Micro video and pages, Boards and Beyond, and the First Aid book pages. And also if you want to supplement it with osmosis videos or anything else, then the main gold standard resources are there on osmosis. This requires a little bit more thinking, but I definitely would use the daily plan. You could do that with placement as well. Say if you've got placement till 1 p.m., or if you've got some rotations for longer than that, you can schedule that in and schedule study time during your evening. And that could also work out beautifully. All right, so I hope this helped you guys. Let me know if you've got any more questions. Let me know if there's any other way of helping you. If you found this quite helpful, please give me a thumbs up and follow this channel and I'll catch you next week. Bye.